Hey guys, Silence Yell here. Welcome back to another Uta May Cross Gacha video. This time round, well, the event has not begun yet, but that's okay. And it's still Valentine's Day, I suppose. Especially for those of you who are in the States, uh, the northern part of the world. Uh, you're still within Valentine's Day, so happy Valentine's Day to you guys. Sadly for us who are closer to the equator, it's, uh, well, another de brand new day. <laughs> so, anyway guys, we're still here to try and collect chocolates from Valkyrie members, and this time around, it belongs to Maki Maki. So, let's take a look at her episode plate and see. Um, I don't know, uh, is she any good as compared to her previous colleagues <laughs> so um, let's take a look at Reina's plate first so let's just have a gist of what we had in store so Reina's plate had you know this which is very very important uh, but sadly to say she didn't have a fantastic total score but pretty mediocre total score which is pretty okay still uh, let's take a look at Makina's plate though let's see whether she's anywhere close to Reina her well partner <laughs> <laughs> in Valkyrie. So, whoa! Okay, so Makina is packing a punch with a total of 3,878. Best total score so far out of all the Valkyrie members um, that has appeared. Well, Ma uh, Mikumo hasn't appeared yet, so I don't know. Maybe Mikumo might top the, the whole thing. So, 3,878. Um, focusing more on voice. And a pretty well balanced soul and charm. But strangely enough, Makina's center skill is only activated when it's on a yellow series song or star element song, whichever you want to call it by. But with a boost of 35% on the unit's total, uh, it's not exactly fantastic. It's just 5% more than what you normally see on a well, live skill support episode plate that has a center skill that boosts units total. So with that in mind, I think Makina's plate is meant to be used as a live skill support for high score purposes. So let's take a look. And yeah, there it is. So active skill, life recovery of 30%, not very good, you know, but um, it's not meant to be used as a healing plate as a center position, I guess. So uh, yeah, but Life skill, S rank, combo bonus! Yeah, we've got that high score achieving life skill. Definitely fantastic. If you guys are Machina fans and you don't have an episode plate that is close to this kind of status, you know, with a life skill like this, and of course stats like hers. I don't know, what am I talking about right now? <laughs> I mean, am I talking about the episode plate of Machina's? Um, yeah, you guys know what I mean. <laughs> but anyways, let's take a look at the last page and see whether this plate puts it in the highest tier among all the Walkure Waura Giranai costume episode plates so far. Oh. Okay, so Reina actually is better because she comes with a score note, but Makina doesn't. Oh well. So <laughs> I guess you can pair both of them together and have a fantastic center, which might be Freya right now because her Uragina costume plate is a 7 star, so I guess that's the best pairing as a team right now from all the Valkyrie members. You have Freya in the center, then you have Maki Ray in the sides, you know, of course, to, to get that fantastic high score that you really want to get right now before the Red Boss event starts because it's related to your Uta grade. If you guys still don't know what I'm talking about, go watch my tutorial video on Red Boss events and you'll probably get the gist of it later on. Alright, so with all this said, is Makina's episode plate actually worthwhile? Well, it, like I said, if you have not gotten any episode plate like this before, you probably might want to add one to your collection because it's always good to have a powerful life skill that isn't bound by any song. You know, like those Red Boss exclusive episode plates. So this kind of episode plates are pretty important. And of course, well, with a total high score like this, it's a pretty good plate in general. But still not got here. But anyway guys, I'm gonna pull it, well, mainly because of the costume for Makina. Definitely want to have it within my collection. And yeah, maybe we can pull some of these other, I don't know, 
plates within the gacha itself i mean definitely we want the main featured plate but uh, anything anything good is still good <laughs> so let's do this guys um the discounted 300 singing stone pool for 10 plates hopefully with this makina grants us some choco for valentine's day Ooh, get some slow pace loading there hopefully my luck isn't totally drained from the last video i'm hoping so oh oh Oh, there's some decent animation, but that doesn't mean we'll get the featured plate. It might be a, uh, well, uh, old plate. So we do get the rainbow box there. Oh, oh, double of. Oh, okay. So that's nice to see. You know, at least we get costume points. We can unlock Martina's costume via episode ops if desperately needed. Oh, lots of duplicates. What's with this gacha food? Oh! Oh! Okay, it is not Makina's main plate, but that's still pretty okay! I mean, do I have it fully evolved though? Oh! Okay, no evolution on that. Alright! So, a pretty decent pool, even though most of my luck has been drained from the last video. Uh, okay! Oh, it evolved! Nice! A uh, pretty good win in my state. Is, I mean, uh, to me, this is a very good pool. <laughs> uh, okay, so I get to evolve Freya's um, birthday plate, I guess, because, you know, it is a plate featuring her in her birthday scenario. Um, still pretty good. I don't know. It, is the plate any good as a fully evolved plate? Oh, it's a center position. Oh, but I mean, I have her seven star plate, so I guess I can chuck this in the closet right now. So, <laughs> but if if I didn't have the seven star plate, it would probably be a very good plate as a center position, um, high score achieving plate. So I don't know. I feel like I feel like I should go for another round for Makina's costume because that um plate alone will not. <laughs> be sufficient enough to try and unlock her costume anywhere close uh, with the amount of episode orbs I have right now. So I'm gonna do a second pool just because um, I can. I mean, I would like to keep the singing stones for the upcoming Ranka and Cheryl costumes, but you know, Makina still holds a bit of place in my heart. So all for Maki Maki. Alright. Ooh! I guess 2020 is being a stable lucky year for me. Wow! That's a lot of red boxes along with that rainbow. Okay. Uh, Ranka is looking happy. Hopefully she's making me happy later on. <laughs> I mean with this pool. Here we go. Second red box. No evolution so far. That's kind of a bummer. Oh! Ray Ray! Come on, give me that Makina plate! Yay! <laughs> yeah, I kind of purposely changed my partner on the main screen as Reyna because I really wanted this to happen. <laughs> it would be lovely to see Reyna pop up and presenting Makina towards me. So that's pretty fantastic. Alright. Okay, so we still have that rainbow box though. Alright, we're almost done with all the red boxes. Nice. And here we go. Oh. Okay, so I didn't have the opportunity to evolve Makina's split, but I, I think that's that's pretty good. <laughs> At least it puts me halfway through the points. Oh no, actually it's more than half. The last video we uh the last few videos, I can't remember which video, but yeah, um, apparently obtaining a 5-star plate gives you at least 3 quarter points to unlocking the costume, so that's more than half. Alright, a pretty fantastic pull overall for this video. I thought my luck would have totally been uh, drained by now, but apparently it's still around. So let's do this. Let's unlock Makina's costume uh, right here, right now, because definitely I have more than enough episode ops to... Um, sustain this costume unlocking. Okay, 100 points. That's pretty sweet. 
mean compared to the 1200 points that we need to unlock the costume but you know what's there is there and we've got to appreciate whatever we have all right okay seems like Hayate is doing his job in giving me some sweet apples to unlock Makina's costume and here we go the main plate itself I don't know, I don't think I will be using a rarity up star on this plate, you know, unless I'm really lacking in um, star series episode plates with high score capabilities. Uh, I mean, I, I do know that, you know, yellow element series plates are kind of hard to come by with decent stats, even though there are a buttload of yellow star episode plates flying around here and there. So. <laughs> Uh, that's why we are always running out of resources for these plates. Alright, so let's see. Um, I probably should use more of the medium ones. There we go. Oh, three is exactly what we need to unlock the costume. So yeah, let's do this. Okay, with that unlocked, you guys know what's coming up next. So make sure you follow me on my YouTube Facebook page, links in the description down below. And I'll see you guys there for Makina's special animation within Utah Macross itself. So as always guys, thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the end. And of course, if you guys did, you guys are awesome in my books. Hit the like button if you appreciate all the content down below as always. And of course, let me know in the comments down below what you guys did with your own pools and what you guys think about Makina's costume and her episode plate in general. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed just yet for more content like this in the future. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye!